What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Wow, you have a lot of forehead with this fisheye angle. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to JMX Amateur Kitchen. Today, we are making a blackberry basil spritzer, spritzer. kind of like a mojito type of thing. I don't know, it's gonna be good. And then on top of that, we are making a spaghetti squash Alfredo. More like a five head. Is that what you want to say? <laughs> yeah. All right, first, let's start off with our drink. Blackberry, basil, mojito. We'll come up with something else. Better name. Spritzer. It's spritzer. a spritzer, yeah. Is it though? If you we need a better name. We need, okay. We'll, we'll okay. just, we'll, okay. you know. We're gonna use five blackberries to start this. Into the cup. Next, we are gonna use some leaves of basil. I have like, what, like four or five. It's to taste. We're gonna use this many. Boop. Would be nice if you got it in the cup. Thank you. To that, we are gonna add three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, freshly squeezed. One half, one half of a half. We're gonna muddle that now. Muddling, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> one more time. Right, muddle these ingredients. Not too much. So, to our muddled ingredients, we are gonna add some ice. We're gonna add an ounce of elderflower liqueur. This is gonna act as the sweetener, but it gives it a little floral note, too. You can use simple syrup if you want, if you don't have access to elderflower, but we're gonna use elderflower. And then, we're gonna finish that off with two ounces of gin. We're using Beef Eaters gin. One, two! All right, let's cover that up. And let's give it a shake. All right. I'm gonna shake it up like this, as opposed to like this, because I really want to break the ice down. We're gonna add our homemade ice block. You can just use regular ice, you can use crushed ice. And actually, we're not gonna even strain this. We're gonna take the entire lid off, and I'm just gonna pour this and block the ice with the knife. We want all those goodies in there. And then, we're just gonna top that off with some lemon seltzer. Give it some carbonation. Stir that with a little chopstick there. We're just gonna garnish that with a lemon ribbon. Wrap it around. You got a nice little lemon ring there. We're just gonna add that to the top there. And that is a blackberry basil Quote unquote mojito. We still haven't come up with a name yet. We got a drink. Mm. So we got our drinks made. We're gonna start making our spaghetti squash. Where's your drink? Where's your drink? Come on, let's go. Drink, 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 drink. Cheers. Cheers. What you doing with that melon? It's not a melon, it's a spaghetti squash, ah, all right? Ah. For those of you that are not familiar with spaghetti squash, it's actually squash. But when you cook it, it turns into spaghetti. Oh my God, it is magical. If you haven't seen it before, I remember the first time. I saw spaghetti squash. I was like. First step, preheat your oven to 400 degrees so we can bake that spaghetti squash. Ew. You got a little piece. Yeah, it's the pulp. <laughs> so why wouldn't we just preheat the oven while we were making our drink? Well, what would I drink while we were preheating the oven? <gasps> the secret to spaghetti squash and making it look more like spaghetti, is actually cutting it in rings rather than in half. The spaghetti runs around the squash, not like this. We're gonna cut this in about, what is that, like inch, two inch? Oh, about two inch, about two inch slices there. And now, we're just gonna cut out the middle pulp. All right, we got our spaghetti squash rings on the pan. Lightly salt. And pepper. Let's put these into the oven. All right, our 400 degree preheated oven. They're gonna bake for about 40 minutes. So like, let's watch a movie. 
You know what? Let's do like let's do drinking games. Like what kind? Ew! Oh. Oh. oh! You're so stupid. Damn it. Bob's back. No. Yeah. Oh shit, we didn't set a timer. <laughs> How long has that been baking for? I don't know. Six. All right. Spaghetti squash is done baking in the oven. We're gonna take that out and we're gonna start making our sauce. Oh, there we go. That smells good. Okay, to start out with our sauce, we have four ounces of pancetta. We got it diced up there. Let's throw that in our skillet. Cook that until it's kind of crispy. We got our pancetta browned up. We're just gonna transfer that to a paper towel. Soak up that grease. To that same pan, we are gonna add one finely diced shallot and a teaspoon of fresh diced thyme. Get those in our pan. We're just gonna cook this for about a minute just to soften these onions. All right, we got our onions and our thyme softened. Quarter cup of dry white wine. Thank you. <laughs> That's my wine. Mm. All right, this is a Sauvignon Blanc. Woo! And we're just gonna let that cook for just a minute to evaporate the alcohol. Scrape up those brown bits. Mm. Now, to that mixture, we are going to add a cup of whole milk. Now, the recipe calls for a cup and a half of heavy cream, but we don't have heavy cream, so we are going to add about three tablespoons of butter to our milk in order to mimic heavy cream. What? For that, we're gonna add a pinch of nutmeg, a teaspoon of salt, and a couple of cracks of pepper. Our sauce has been cooking down for about five minutes now. To that, we are going to add half a cup of Parmesan cheese, and one cup of previously frozen peas that are now thawed out. Now we're using peas, you can use poos if you want. That's so stupid <laughs> and disgusting. You're disgusting. Get all those peas in there <laughs> or your poos. <laughs> all right, and we're just gonna mix these around and just cook this for another mm, two minutes, two or three minutes. All right. Let's get our spaghetti going. So these rings that we have baked, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a fork and we are just gonna pull, we're just gonna pull this out. And this is gonna make our spaghetti strands. Spaghetti squash view! Woo! Look at that. Okay. Take that into the bowl. We're just gonna add our spaghetti squash noodles to our sauce. And we are gonna add our pancetta to that. We are just gonna mix that around. Incorporate. All right, cook this for a couple of minutes. Let's plate it up. Finish that off with some Parmesan cheese and some parsley. And that is our spaghetti squash Alfredo and blackberry basil mojito. Spaghetti Alfredo and blackberry basil mojito. Mm. Spaghetti squash Alfredo and blackberry basil mojito. Oh! Did I make Spaghetti squash Alfredo and blackberry basil mojito spritzer. Boom! Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, post a comment, share it up. Cheers. Cheers. Oh! Didn't make it. I know.